Have you ever wondered why Russian tanks are usually smaller than American tanks? Let's dive into history to unravel this fascinating mystery. In the early days of tank development, Russia and the United States adopted markedly different design philosophies. This divergence was grounded in their unique strategic needs, geographic conditions, and industrial capabilities. The Russian military, mindful of their vast and varied terrain, prioritized tanks that were easy to manufacture, maintain, and operate. They sought a balance between performance and practicality, opting for compact, robust machines that could be produced in large numbers and swiftly repaired on the battlefield. Conversely, the American approach leaned heavily towards raw power and technological superiority. They built larger, more complex tanks, bristling with cutting-edge technology. These behemoths were designed to dominate the battlefield with their superior firepower and armor, a testament to the American industrial might and their focus on quality over quantity. This difference in design philosophy led to the noticeable size disparity between Russian and American tanks. But why would Russia prefer smaller tanks? What advantages could they possibly offer? Well, let's delve into that. Firstly, smaller tanks offer better mobility. They can navigate through dense forests, narrow streets, and rough terrains with ease, which is particularly useful in a vast and diverse landscape like Russia. They're like the nimble sprinters of the battlefield, ready to leap into action at a moment's notice. Secondly, smaller tanks are easier to transport. They can be loaded onto trains, trucks, or aircrafts more efficiently, allowing for swift deployment to the front lines. This logistical advantage cannot be overstated, especially in the heat of battle. Lastly, smaller tanks cost less to produce. This means that Russia could churn out tanks at a staggering pace, focusing on quantity over size. It's a classic case of more bang for your buck, if you will. These factors were key to Russia's military strategy, which prioritized rapid, efficient tank production. So for the Russians, smaller was indeed better. On the other hand, why did the Americans opt for larger tanks? Well, the answer lies in their military strategy and the benefits that come with a larger size. The larger tanks tend to have stronger firepower. This is because they can house larger guns and ammunition, allowing them to deliver more powerful and longer range attacks. In addition, larger tanks often come with better armor. This extra shielding gives them an edge in combat as they can withstand more hits before they're put out of action. And let's not forget about the advanced technologies that these larger tanks can accommodate. We're talking about things like advanced targeting systems, night vision, and even anti-missile systems. These factors all fit into America's military strategy, which has always aimed at delivering superior firepower and protection. They didn't just want to win battles, they wanted to do so while minimizing casualties. For the Americans, bigger meant stronger and safer. The size difference between Russian and American tanks, rooted in their distinct historical and strategic perspectives, continues to influence modern tank designs. The Russian design philosophy, prioritizing mobility, ease of production, and simplicity, is evident in their modern tank models like the T-14 Armada. Compact, agile, and easier to manufacture, these tanks reflect the essence of Russia's military strategy. Conversely, the United States, with its emphasis on firepower and protection, produces behemoths like the M1 Abrams. These tanks, larger and more sophisticated, embody the American belief in technological superiority as a key to victory. These contrasting philosophies, intertwined with the size and structure of these war machines, shape the battlefield dynamics of the present day. It's not merely about who has the bigger or smaller tank, but more about how these tanks complement the broader strategic objectives of their respective nations. Regardless of size, the ultimate goal of any tank is to serve its purpose in the battlefield. And both Russian and American tanks have proven their worth in this regard time and time again.